we welcome you here into this sacred space, into this chapel, this beautiful Byzantine structure. It's small, but it certainly is magnificent. The iconography is magnificently executed. All the work that has been done here as far as maintaining the traditions of our faith and of our people and maintaining those traditions authentically is very important. The St. Photius Greek Orthodox National Shrine was established to commemorate those indentured servants that came from Greece and Asia Minor in 1768. The shrine was started in 1965 when they purchased the house, so to speak, as a vision. In 1982, we had the opening of the doors and we're celebrating that this year, our 40th anniversary. The reason why they purchased this house is because it was the sanctuary for the survivors of the New Smyrna colony. They took refuge here in the Overo house. So I think that impact is a aha moment, a wow moment. Oh gee, I didn't know that. Greeks were here in 1768. That's amazing. A man named Andrew Turnbull, he had this grand idea that while Britain owned Florida, that he was going to create a colony that could be an entrepreneurial success of indigo and other items. And I think people don't know that history. They didn't know that the Greeks came over with the Menorcans and others from Asia Minor in 1768. What happened was that when the Archdiocese found that 500 of those original 1400 were Greeks, he felt that they had to be honored, their memory had to be honored. That is why the shrine is here, in honor of those Greeks who came to America in 1768 that were received in St. Augustine in 1777, and in honor of all immigrants who came to America. So this is a place of witness for orthodoxy. It's a place in which we share the Hellenic culture, and it's part of America's oldest city, St. Augustine. Being here in the oldest continuously inhabited city in the United States is most appropriate but it also needs to expand and tell the world that we are here. I think that vision is still the same, but we want to augment it. We want it to be a living shrine, not a dead shrine, not a dead museum, not a place where people come just to remember the past, but to celebrate the future and to celebrate and to highlight what Greek Americans have done in this country. The shrine is an integral institution of the Archdiocese of America. It has been for 40 years because this is the first national shrine of the Archdiocese of America. Therefore, it's interwoven and married uh, to the Archdiocese and our faith and culture are always married together. So we celebrate that marriage of faith and culture here at St. Photios. I would like to see everyone know about St. Photios and his contributions to the Archdiocese and to America. There are so many people yet within our Archdiocese who have never heard of the shrine, have never heard of the Avero House. It's on the National Registry of Historic Places. It's been open for 40 years. It's had relevancy to the Archdiocese for almost 60 years. And yet, my number one goal is always to increase awareness, to always be able to receive people warmly and to let them leave being ambassadors themselves of the, of the message of, of the shrine. So for the future, may it be that place of respite for people to come, to learn a bit of history, but also to find inside a little bit of peace for themselves, some hope, some faith, some real understanding of what it is to be in the present here in the chapel and on the grounds. It's just such a perfect place for humanity, truly. If you have a chance to visit us here at St. Augustine, I wish you would. Just spend a couple of moments in prayer, light a candle, offer a prayer, it has such meaning to so many people, and no one has ever come away from the shrine not touched by the shrines. If you're fortunate enough to be here while we're having a service, we would invite you to stay with us, but also you can always tune in and watch our services uh, by live streaming. There are local parishes here. We don't want to compete with that. We are a shrine, not a parish, and the shrine is an important place of pilgrimage. So if you do come here, you'll be able to venerate the relics that we have to able to pray in front of the magnificent Byzantine icons and just take a respite from the outside world and enter into this heavenly realm.